Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I make my crawfish boil with a side of fried green beans and a little spicy mayo sauce to go with that, uh, boiled red potatoes and blue crab. So let's get started. You're gonna wanna make sure you rinse your seafood very well, especially the crawfish. Here I have four pounds of live crawfish. As you can see, you wanna make sure you rinse it very well because they live in the mud and you do not wanna taste that. And I also have some red potatoes here that I rinse and cut in half. And what you're gonna wanna do is take a big pot, fill it halfway with water, and here I have my crawfish seasoning that you can get at any local Asian market in your town. It's my go-to, it's so good, and it adds a nice flavor to the red potatoes and the blue crab that we're going to be throwing in there. Once when your water comes to a boil like this, you want to go ahead and add in your red potatoes. And this is, just go ahead and boil this for about five minutes. Um, and then after five minutes or so, we're going to do a little test just to make sure it's, it's not overcooking because it will finish off cooking once when I add the uh, blue crab into the pot. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our blue crab and this pot probably could fit maybe 10 crabs. Here I put in five. Um, it's just me and my wife eating so, uh, but you can definitely put in maybe 10 in this big pot. But this is gonna go for another 15 to 20 minutes. And then after they're done boiling, you're gonna go ahead and drain it. And we're just gonna put this on the side for now and let it cool off while we work on our butter sauce. So here I have four bulbs of garlic. Um, if you do not like that much garlic, you don't have to use this much, but I love garlic. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the skin. Luckily, I have a handy dandy food processor. It's saved me a lot of time since I do not have the patience to cut up that much garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and add this to our pan that already has four melted sticks of salted butter. That red thing that you guys see right there, I unfortunately ran out of cayenne and paprika. I like my butter sauce spicy, um, but unfortunately I did not have cayenne and paprika in my house. So I just ended up cutting up uh, red chili peppers instead since that's what I had in my house at the time. And we're gonna mix this very well into the butter. And then when it comes to a little simmer, go ahead and add in your crawfish seasoning. This is about probably four tablespoons. You wanna make sure you don't um, overdo it because the seasoning is very salty. So just make sure you just slowly taste it and then you can add in more if you want to. Personal preference. Now it's time to add in our crawfish. I should have used a bigger pot, but this is all I had. So uh, don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, they'll, they'll eventually calm down. Um, but yeah, this is gonna cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And you're just gonna wanna make sure you continuously stir it. Uh, make sure all that garlic, it's fully covered and this is what it should look like. Um, I'm gonna let this sit to the side and we'll get started on our fried green beans. Here I have my clean uh, chopped green beans and my seasoned flour, two whisked eggs, and our panko breadcrumbs. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and mix up this flour seasoning, which is one tablespoon of sea salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of onion powder with half a cup of flour. Now we're gonna add in our green beans and you wanna make sure your green beans are a little bit wet so the flour can stick. Then after that, go ahead and throw it into your egg mixture. And then once when that's fully coated, you can go ahead and put it onto the panko breadcrumbs and you're going to repeat this step until all of your green beans are covered like this, woohoo! 
So now I'm putting it into my veggie oil that I have on high. I am reusing um, oil from, I think it was maybe a dinner or two ago, but yeah. Have uh, you guys, these green beans take about 45 seconds to cook. So make sure you don't walk away from them and then do it in batches as well. You don't want to overcrowd. And then just go ahead and repeat this until all your green beans are done. And now I'm going to make my spicy mayo, which I'm using a Japanese mayonnaise. If you do not have this, it's okay. You can use regular mayonnaise. And then we're going to add in our sriracha. Um, this is personal preference as well. If you don't like it too spicy, you don't have to um, add in that much sriracha. But I like my sauce at a medium spice. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in. And then, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this recipe video. Give it a try. Let me know down in the comments if you do, if you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Love ya! Bye!